Hey guys, welcome back. This is Storm and this is going to be another Minecraft command video and in this episode we're going to look at the summon command. So let's take a look at the syntax. Let's just type in summon and we've only got a few inputs. We've got entity name, X, Y and Z and data tag. So what does summon do? So summon allows us to spawn in a whole lot of different things into your world. So primarily not blocks, but pretty much everything other than blocks. So mobs and some of the dynamic things we have in the game, like XP orbs or throwable objects, uh, some of those kind of things. Uh, it's quite powerful, so let's look at some examples. So let's say I want to spawn in a rabbit, for example. So let's just type in summon rabbit. And if I don't define any coordinates or any locations or any, any other information, I'm just going to get a generic rabbit right where I'm standing. But I can change that rabbit to be a different type. So let's do the same thing again. But let's put in some additional information. So let's say we're going to give it a rabbit type a value of three, and we'll now get a different variant. So there we go, got ourselves a different rabbit, and yeah, that's all well and good, but we can do a lot more than just those kind of commands. Let's look at some examples. So let's go down here, and we'll just press the buttons and we'll find out what we get. So here we've got a charged creeper, nothing too fancy. The command is quite straightforward. It's just got a power tag information for the object that was spawning. So here we're spawning a creeper and giving it a power value of one. Uh, all these examples and all these commands will be in the video description as always. Let's look at another example. So here we go, we've got ourselves a uh, Enderman. Now this guy's been named, he's got a name called Bob, but he's also stolen one of my command blocks, so um, <laughs> how dare you steal my command blocks. Um, but yeah, let's look at another example. So what do we have in here? Now this is where we can start to do something a bit more interesting. You can see that we've got a baby zombie villager which is all decked out in iron gear, but it's riding a skeleton horse. Now this skeleton horse is in the game, it's been in the game since horses were added, but you can't currently get these guys uh, uh, to spawn naturally. So using commands and command blocks, uh, that's one way how you can get those kind of mobs into your game. So let's look at, at another example. This is on the extreme side. Whoa! <laughs> so we've got ourselves a giant. Now this guy is all decked out, he's got um, a whole lot of equipment on him. In fact, I'm not sure how easily I can kill this guy. He's got a lot of health. Um, I have to kind of shoot him in the legs here to try and um, yeah, make <laughs> make this guy die. Uh, but look at the size of this guy. He's quite crazy. This is all done through uh, the summon command. And we'll look at the command once I can kill this guy. There we go. We finally killed him. So let's go look at the command. It's quite a straightforward command. So this is it here. We're spawning a giant. So this is a type of mob. Um, the location, and then I'm spawning in some equipment information for that mob. Um, so all these examples and text will be in the video description, so we won't work through it now, It'll take too long. But check those out if you want to, um, yeah, experiment with these kind of commands. Now, something I get asked a lot is how do you spawn in multiple mobs at once? So if you look at the syntax for the command, it only allows you to put in one value or basically one entity name at a time. But there is a way to make um, one command spawn in multiple uh, mobs. So let's check this one out. <laughs> there we go. So we've got a whole lot of mobs that were spawned just then um, all through the one command. This is just one um, Minecraft uh, command for summon. But you're just using some different techniques. Well, I don't know. Should I let all these guys wander? All right, they're all on the loose now. <laughs> I'll kill this guy though. He's going to leave snow everywhere. So let's take a look at the command. It's quite a long command, but the way I do this is by using a trick where you can have something writing uh, another object. So here I'm writing a string and I'm spawning in a mob writing that string. So the, spawn, the string despawns after just a couple of seconds. So you don't see the string. So that's why when I do this again, you don't see any string here, but you see all the mobs. So this, the string all disappears, but then we're just left with all the mobs. So that's a pretty cool way to spawn in multiple uh, mobs at once. You now, obviously, you don't have to just do it with these kind of friendly mobs. You can do it with hostile mobs or the same mob. It's all up to you. So it's quite powerful in how you can do something like that. Let's look at some other examples. Whoa, we've got... Uh-oh. Is this uh, rabbit in trouble? Uh, it looks like he's in trouble. Let's look at some other examples. So here we've got something where I'm going to spawn in three different pickups. Now, these are three different properties for these pickups. So I've got all of these uh, chess pieces. The one on the left, the, go the diamond one, I can't pick up and no player will be able to pick up. And I achieved that all through the summon command using the different tags for this particular chess plate. Now for the middle one, I can pick this one up, but only after 20 seconds. You can see there I could only just then pick it up. Um, 
But yeah, I've set a property for this particular object so that I can only pick it up after a certain time. Now this last one is pick upable, but I can't pick it up. I have to have a friend come along and pick that up. So let's go and do that. Let's get someone to go pick this up. So here we go, we're going to allow this player come along and then this player can pick up this particular object. So that's quite powerful. You can see that, um, yeah, you can limit or control how these pickups behave and it's uh, yeah, very powerful what you can do with these particular commands. So let's look at some more examples. Here we've got another two command blocks with some commands in it for the summon command. And we're just going to spawn in something that looks a little bit strange. And what this thing in here is, is a super juice. So it's basically a potion, but it's got a custom name and a custom uh, generation or potion effect applied to it. So this will give me generation three for two and a half minutes. So you can set all this stuff, get out of here, cow. <laughs> you can set all that stuff using command blocks. So I've just got all these additional tag information, but we're still using the summon command. And this one allows us to take that a little step further. And what this is going to do is, what is this going to do? Let's take a look. Um, it's going to generate a thrown potion. All right. So, well, where did that go? So it's sitting up there. We can see it up there. Now it's going to try and come towards me because I've got a splash potion riding an XP orb. So if I keep trying to get away from it, it's eventually going to track me down. And then it's going to throw this splash potion at me. And it's given me the jump boost effect. So that's all done through uh, using the summon command. So let's take a look again. So we're using summon. Now this time we're using a throw on potion for what we're throwing. And then there's a whole bunch of other data information about how the, um, the potion effect should, uh, should work. So we can do more than just potions and just mobs and items like chess pieces. We can do other things as well. So here we're going to spawn in a chest. There we go. A chest just magically appeared. And inside this chest, we have a number of objects. So we've got ourselves a custom diamond sword um, and we've got some apples as well. So I can destroy this and I can recreate it again. And so it's going to spawn in. There we go. There we go. We've got another chest. Well, this is all done through the summon command and we're using falling sand to create this uh, this chest piece or the, uh, the chest item here uh, dynamically like that. Um, but we can do more. There's still more you can do with summon command. So let's look at some other examples. So this one's pretty cool. This is where I'm spawning in some fireworks, also riding a TNT block. So that's why the have the explosion when it goes up. You can see the TNT is flying up. And then when it explodes, it's also letting go of a firework effect. So that's pretty cool. You can still do more. So let's look at this example. In fact, what does this example do? I've forgotten. <laughs> Aha, so that's right. So this is going to need some villagers. All right, so let's spawn in some villagers. Sorry, villagers, you guys are going to have a bad day. <laughs> Wherever there's a villager on this map, um, they'll get struck by lightning by using this command. So that's all by using, uh, again, we're going to use summon, but this time we're using it with the execute command. So we're going to select just the villagers, then we're going to strike them with lightning. So if I were to remove this execute uh, option here and just to have the original summon command, it will just summon uh, wherever I've uh, decided to run this command from. So that'll be right there. So, sorry guys, you guys are now turned into witches. Um, but yeah, maybe you'll have a better life that way. <laughs> well, at least you've got fire resistance on. You're all good, buddy. Okay, let's look at one more example. There's one more thing you can do. And that is, look at this guy. So I've spawned in a fireball. Now this is no regular fireball. It's got a large explosion uh, damage uh, set on this particular block. And let's see if we can line this up and shoot our object down here. Here we go. Whoops, <laughs> I think that was a bit powerful. I think I kind of set my island here on fire as well. Um, but you can see, you can set a whole bunch, uh, bunch of information about the objects you're summoning. And obviously you can have a lot of fun with that. So thanks for watching guys. Hope you guys liked the video. Again, check out the Minecraft command uh, playlist that I have on my channel if you like to see these kind of videos and look at the different examples that I have. There's all a whole lot of other information I'll link out of the video description. So check that out as well if you want to. So until next time, stay awesome, guys, and um, I'll see you guys in the next video. All right. See you guys. Cheers.